Hi there, welcome to Active Lesson Tutorial or MATLAB. Today we are going to discuss complex numbers, trigonometry, and square root. This is lesson 2.1. You've probably learned about complex numbers, trigonometry, or other math principles. You've also learned how to punch them onto your calculators. Guess what? You can also use Octave to perform these functions using coding. Now you'll notice that the coding here, it's not too complicated or too complex, it's straightforward. Let's start first with complex numbers. Notice these two statements. They are basically duplicates coded differently. The first way you could code complex on your octave, you'd want to write complex brackets to comma five. When you punch enter, it'll give you an answer of two plus five i. Alternatively, you could just add two plus five i and you will get your answer. If you want to multiply your two complex um, equations, you just want to put them in brackets separated by a multiplication function. Trigonometric functions can also be executed on Octave. You can use the documentation section under function, index, and type in either cos, sine, or log. Notice when you press cos, it shows you all the other trigonometric functions and explains to you that which you do not understand. Let's be practical. If you say cos 45, it will give you an answer. If you say sine 45, it will give you an answer. 10 45 will give you an answer. Notice that after your trigonometric function, don't forget to put in your brackets. Same thing for the logarithmic functions. If you say log 100, it will give you an answer. And if you want to use a base log, you just have to say log and the base number. This time you say 10, 100, it will give you an answer. Executing square root functions on Octave. Again, you can type in help square root, which is SQRT, the coding language on Octave. Or you can go to document section under function index and type in SQRT. It will explain to you what is meant by square root. If we were to first execute sine 30 to the power of 2, addition cos 30 to the power of 2, which is squared, it will give an answer. And you can square root that answer or you can basically type in the whole statement under the function square root and we'll also execute an answer. Alternatively, you could just work on your ATA section. Don't forget to save your work. Just write down all the problems, run the file, or you can just copy and paste everything onto your command windows. Again, there we go. Octave is not that complicated. It just needs practice, and with more practice and familiarizing yourself with the coded language, you are also a master of Octave. It's also fun. I can't wait to show you more and more lessons.